This episode of Mobile Geeks is brought to you by GoToMeeting. The Coast Guard here Mobile Geeks, and here we are at the Qualcomm booth at Computex 2013. Now, Computex, in uh, most people's books, is a kind of Intel loving, Haswell obsessed show with all the new Ultrabooks, all the latest laptops coming out. And Qualcomm generally has a couple cool announcements, mostly focused on, say, the components around the Theros, because this is a component heavy show. But there's actually a few demos here that are definitely worth taking a look at because of the Snapdragon 800 processor. Now, if you remember from Mobile World Congress, we actually gave the 800 processor the uh, most innovative hardware or most best enabling technology because while well, I just cannot get over how awesome that 8.1 surround sound is. So I'm going to show you a couple of the cool things like this guy behind me in a 4K Ultra HD capture but why don't we start this direction with the Qualcomm reference design. So this is actually running a Snapdragon 400 processor which is you know a mid-range uh, for the masses kind of processor. So what we have here is a PSU we, uh, with micro USB, there we have the HDMI, we have a SIM card slot, micro SD card slot, and an audio jack. On the back here we have a camera, but the thing is that can be any megapixel because the manufacturer can take that and do exactly what they want with it. It is not getting hot even though it's running this, this great graphics benchmark here. So you can see there's a hundred fish and it's a 1280 by 7, well 656 window size here. But the display is actually 1080p so it's more than able to handle that. So you can see that it's on a 7 inch device as well running the exact same demo. So what's nice about this is that Qualcomm's reference design isn't just 10 inches, it can scale down to 7 as well. Taking a close look at this device, we have the same set of ports, um, micro USB, HDMI, SIM card, and micro SD with a headphone jack. Again, there is another camera there on the back. And the thing is, is that I would love to see this thinner, but then that's the job of the partner who decides to pick this up. This is also running on the Snapdragon 400 processor. So here we have the 800 tablet reference design for developers to play around with to optimize their applications for the processor. So you know me, I obviously love making video, so what, what's happening here is this is a video editor that is taking advantage of the Snapdragon 800's multimedia processing. So these are all 1080p videos. So you see in the editing timeline, it's actually able to handle three 1080p videos. It can possibly do any more. We've added in some music down in here. Uh, what I love about this is if I click on here, uh, it has transitions as well, so I can say, let's do split screen maybe. Oh yeah, there we go. I can change it to a six second delay if I want. And then let's uh, click out, go back, and let's play this over again. Another cool feature of the Snapdragon 800 processor is going to be the ability for it to manage multiple camera feeds. So you can see there's me, and you can see this is what's going on right behind me. But what is super cool is that I can take this and I can move it around, I can make it bigger, I can resize it, and I'm still smoothly moving around inside of this, inside of this camera feed. So this is just another really cool feature from the Snapdragon 800 chipset. Now before I get into this crazy scene behind me of the Ultra HD Capture, why don't we hear from our sponsor? I mean, Computex is in full swing and everyone is descending upon Taipei to kind of check out the trade show. If you spend any time following me, you'll know that I travel so, so much. I spend a lot of time on the road. If you haven't already checked out GoToMeeting with HD Faces, you really should. You can share the same screen and launch or join a meeting from anywhere using just your computer, smartphone, or tablet. You can even present from your iPad. I spend a lot of time traveling, so the ability to effectively share information from anywhere in the world is why GoToMeeting is such a powerful tool. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code GEEKS. Remember to use the promo code GEEKS to support our show. Now why don't we get into some Ultra HD capture. Qualcomm has set up this really interesting demo here where we have a camera up here running a Snapdragon 800 processor. So this is a the reference design here for developers and it's capturing in 4K. Now we have this beautiful artist here making his watercolors and then we're going to go over here and check out what's happening on the developer platform running the Snapdragon 800 processor. So what we have is we're having 4K or Ultra HD camera here capturing this gorgeous content here, streaming it onto this tablet and then onto the TV. So we're seeing this all in the Snapdragon 800 processor. So let's take a walk around this tablet just to see what's going on. So up here at the top you can see that we have a power button. Uh, there is a 
the headphone jack, obviously. Uh, that's a rotation, t uh, yeah, that's a rotation lock. And then we have a volume locker. Over here on the side, we have a PSU, HDMI. There's a USB 3 there. Let me get a better angle for you. Yeah, there's a USB 3 there, and then we have a full-size SD card slot. This is running a 1080p display, even though it is capturing 4K content. So the tablet is not really that thin, uh, because basically it is mostly for developers to work with the Snapdragon 800 processor. And it is on this dock that was actually launched last year at Computex. So this is just a little proof of concept demo here, showing off an artist making gorgeous watercolors, all being captured in Ultra HD or 4K content. I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks, taking a closer look at what's going on with Qualcomm.